Hey guys, welcome back to MMA On Demand. This week, we are going over the outside trip. Stick around. From the inside here, I'm just gonna go over it really slow with you guys first. Uh, and this is, has a lot to do with the cooperation of your partner or your opponent. Now, I know that sounds weird, but really a fight is about cooperation. Meaning that you're waiting for your opponent to do what you think he's gonna react to. Okay, and that's what I'm doing. So I'm gonna wait for Justin to react to a certain thing that I'm doing. Okay, because he has a habit of doing that. So that's what we're doing. Okay, so well, as I pummel in, uh, Justin is gonna step in. So I'm just gonna do this slowly uh, so that uh, you guys can see what's going on, okay? It's all about timing with this guys, okay? So as Justin pumbles in, he steps in. As he steps in, I can't wait for him to plant that foot. I've actually gotta sit back a bit and I'm gonna take my foot and I'm gonna clip his foot as he steps in. So just before he plants that foot, because if he plants that foot before I can get that trip going, but I just, he gets that foot, he's not going anywhere, okay? And if he is, I'm gonna have to really fight for it. I prefer not to do that, let's be as efficient as possible, okay? So, as he pummels in, I feel him, and I know Justin steps in when he pummels in. So as he pummels in, steps in, this is when I start my trip, okay? So a couple ways I like to do this, depending on how deep he steps in between my legs. If he steps too deep, I'm gonna wrap my foot almost around. I don't wanna wrap it around like this, okay? I want to just kind of wrap it around his calf, okay? As I do that, I use my other underhook to lift and my overhook to pull, okay? Essentially ending up on top of him as we turn. So we're turning, okay? So let's do this. Okay, so we're in a clinch. Maybe we're throwing a couple knees, a couple elbows. Justin pummels in, he steps in. I trip and I come down here. I come down here. So I, I don't really, I can have this underhook, but if I have this underhook, I'm going to side mount. Okay, so here, if we end up here, that's perfect. Okay, nice catch or something. Neck crank is beautiful. So make sure when you guys are doing this that you're practicing it a lot. This is a really difficult one to do. This is actually a judo technique and I'm gonna say it's about intermediate to advanced. So make sure you guys practice this a lot before you attempt doing it inside an MMA cage. If this is your first time here, pound the subscribe button, hit that like button, and don't forget to check out our MOD breakdown. It'll be about three weeks. We'll see you next week on the mats.